In order to find the limit of this trig function, we need to be able to sketch the tan graph. Now we know that tan goes up, starting from zero, curves up, and it continues on and hits zero again. So this is a vertical asymptote. Now this is the, the period, the period of tan. Every two jumps, we have a period. Now what is the period of tan? Normally, the period of tan is just pi, but in this case, we have a, a b value. We have a transformation. The tan is either compressed or expanded. So we're going to say that the period for tan is not 2 pi over b, it's actually pi over b. The period is, has to be positive value, so you could stick absolute value signs if you want. So the period for tan is pi divided by the b value, which happens to be pi over 2. So the division becomes a times, if you flip it, becomes 2 over pi, and the pi's cancel. So you can see that the period is 2, which means that every two teeth here, this is the period of 2, the vertical asymptote would be at 1. And now we've sketched this graph correctly. And if you really want, you can continue the pattern here. The pattern here is every two teeth, you have a vertical asymptote, and you curve it this way, and you can even go to negative land here. Every two teeth, you have a vertical asymptote. It curves this way, and it comes down this way. But the question is saying, as you approach 3, the number 3 here, plus sign means from the right. So from the right is coming down this way, and you can see that we're approaching negative infinity. So the limit as x approaches 3 from the right is negative infinity. Not positive infinity, which is up, but it's going to be down. It's going to be negative infinity.